A clay researchers have discovered that lunar pits and caves could provide a stable temperatures for human habitation. The team discovered shady locations within pits on the moon that always hover around a comfortable 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Underground is also a great place to stay away from radiation. Having pry. Made tunnels in the form of lava tubes is perfect if they are large enough to either hold a habitation module or just be sealed up and you rely on the rocks themselves for structure. Edit. A word. They've always wondered why the idea of an underground city has happened on Earth to prevent extreme temperatures. Is it just not feasible? Logistically, it seems like a nightmare to sort out originally, but could it happen? I'm asking completely earnestly. I don't know the answer. Removed. I would wonder if moonquakes would pose a danger. Ick if they are just microquakes or if they can get big. I just looked it up and found that this means 17, in case anyone else was wondering. Quick dirty is if you have. Subtract 30, then divided by 2. Ped mass dose to apply here. So 63. 30, 33 or 2, 16. 5. Obs the other way is just as easy. 17 cax to 34, 30, 64 close enough. I thought it was basic standard practice to use Calvin or Celsius. Can America just convert already? Seeing if being used in a science sub. Is seeing a science. One problem they'll have to contend with is excess heat. Radiant heat dosed work very well in vacuum. Excess heat is going to be an ongoing problem for spacefaring humans. Except on the moon, couldn't just they use the moon itself to absorb excess heat? Just open the door a crack. Radiant heat dosed work very well in vacuum. Do you mean convective heat? Radiation works pretty well in a vacuum. It's how the sun heats the earth and how the is rejects heat into space. I frequently have the weirdest discussions about this. How heat dissipates on space. Most people are convinced everything in space freezes instantly. So suits are actually cooled, not heated. Ignoring cost or logistics, the problem with moon or any non. Atmospheric bodies habitation is always going to be the risk of getting annihilated by any random rock smashing into your place. Well, if we're ignoring cost and logistics, just build deep enough underground. It's not solar radiation. Well, if it's in a deep cave, that should kind of help with that, right? As well as the radiation. Well, as the radiation. Well, the radiation. <laughs> So the main issue would then just be atmosphere which although serious is probably going to be the case on any planet or body you go to. Or the lack of sufficient gravity. Your bones and muscles will atrophy and your eyes will misshapen. Oh ha, that goes for atmospheric bodies too chief. Removed. And no humidity. Removed. I'm not the sharpest mind in the class, so I'm sorry in advance if this sounds like a stupid question. But that means that an astronaut could just remove his equipment except for his helmet and air supply and just chill around there. He should be safe from flying rocks and radiation down there, right? Or are there more factors into this that would prevent him from successfully removing his equipment and continue living? There are more factors. Temperature is just one. Then pressure. 
then atmospheric composition. The last two are related but entirely absent on the moon. You'd need to seal up the cave and then fill it with a breathable atmosphere at an acceptable pressure. What effects this would have on the cave are unknown. There will almost certainly be chemical reactions that will use up the oxygen, since oxygen is extremely reactive and those rocks have never been exposed to it. In addition, the application of many tons of outward force inside a cave that has never known it might result in local seismicity. Cave collapse or rupture. Even if you overcame these issues, you'd just be getting started. The moon is covered with extremely fine dust that might cause lung disease. All this won't prevent us from living there, but temperature alone, while a huge help. The rest of the suet is quite essential to staying alive in a vacuum. Otherwise, the pressure differential would be quite dangerous. Removed. The lack of pressure would be quite painful at first, because I'm pretty sure you'd die in a minute or so. Your lungs would rupture, dissolved gases would bubble out of your blood, and your blood might start to boil. 63 and no direct sunlight. So, just like summers in San Francisco. Better housing costs on the moon, though. Would to underground cities almost always be the smartest place to start? Protection from space debris. Easier to control environments as well. Probably depending on the rock you could save significantly on enclosing areas as well. The long-term effects of low-gravity environments on the human body don't bode well for living long periods of time on the moon. More research is needed, but we see what happens on the is in a zero environment. It's got to be much better in low-gravity than microgravity. Besides, I doubt anyone would want to live on the moon longer than just whatever duration the mission is. They'd cycle through crews, not just leave them there. The environmental scientist here, whenever I hear of these lunar or Mars colonization ideas, it's all well and good until you consider what Earth's various ecosystems provided thus, allowing us to live, let alone live comfortably. Take away these basic amenities and life becomes harsh at the minimum, impossible at most. Think of all the recent studies noting the improved mental health of people who are out in nature more take all that away and plop humans on a desolate space rock and see what happens. Using foreign hate on war science should be grounds for banning. That's seventeenth for the rest of the world and the scientific community that works in sea units. Seventeen degrees Celsius for the rest of the world. The rest of this world. The US is bringing foreign hate to the moon. 63, but still a vacuum. They will still have pods for people to have air. This just means they won't have to bring heavy duty climate control units. Less cargo means it's more viable. Removed. 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 Saying that a clay researchers discovered it is a little bit dishonest. Research on this subject has been ongoing for quite some time by a multitude of institutions.